Ferro Club Argentino. Engine is super clean. Look at this thing. Look at that. It's huge. This thing is so cool. A dynamic train to test like different parameters. So you can train this on the low. Yeah. Because it requires lubrication and maintenance that no, none of us know how to do. Right. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Buenos Aires, Argentina. We are here just outside the city of Buenos Aires today in the Con Urbano, the suburbs, in uh, a city that I think is called Lanús. And we are here today to see the Museo Ferrocarril. Let's see, I think it's around here. Anyway, it's a federal, federal club, a train club, museum. So come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you wanna help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. We're here now and uh, here it says right here, Ferro, Clo Ferro Club Argentino. Estacionamento, parking. Oh yeah. And here it is. Ferro Club Argentino. Now there's a couple of these, I think, in different places around Buenos Aires. Um, but this is the main location, and this is the one that's open on the weekends. We are in the Ferro Club Argentino. And here it is, Ferro Carriles Argentinos. This old train car, they have like old train engines in here. They got a lot of cool stuff going on here. And like I said, this is the main location, the main uh, office, I guess. And they have, um, they're open on the afternoons on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I believe. You can just head in here. And they have a lot of volunteers, um, one of whom actually left a comment on my video about the, uh, the previous um like the visit to the national railway museum and apparently he's working here today so maybe we can go say hi look at this look at this bad boy general roca general roca general roca named after uh i imagine named after julio julio Ro argentino roca who we made that video about when we visited the museum, the Roca Museum in Buenos Aires. Very, very cool. And there's like a uh, big, big old diesel engine here. Kind of interested to see. This is super cool. I think this actually in front might be like one of these, like a, like a little engine maybe that they use to shuttle other cars and other engines and stuff around the yard. I mean, obviously they're not using it now, it's just for show, but maybe that's what it was used for. It looks like it. Oh, look at this. It's a big old diesel engine with the passenger car. Now, man, in that video that we made about um, the National Railway Museum, I was surprised that that steam engine that we saw there that was attached to the president's train that that thing was actually pretty like new you know steam engine from like the night early 1950s i think which to me is surprising i don't i said you know before i don't really know much about trains i think they're cool but i thought that everything was converted to diesel by then but the fact that in the, like the late 40s and the early 50s they still were using train like steam engines is kind of amazing to me I wonder how, how long, like when was the last, the very last steam engine? What year was that? Anybody know? Any any train fans down in the uh, rail fans, like down in the comments, know? When would have been the last use of a, like a steam engine? When, when did they fully convert over to diesel? Was it in the 1950s? Or were they still using like steam engines up until like the 1960s? I don't know. 
Oh, and they got a train running. Oh, yo, look at this. Check it out. They have a steam engine. It's, it's running. They have a steam engine. They're operating it. Look at this thing. This thing is really beautiful too. It's it's restored. It's super clean. Look at it. It's incredible. I don't know if you can see it, but I, there is steam like pouring out of the uh, of the boiler up there. Oh, this is so cool. All right, yo. This is now 100% worth the trip just because they have this thing actually like fired up and running. Oh. You see it? It's pumping steam. That is so cool. So cool. Look at this. General La Roca. And this General La Roca engine is super clean. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. This uh, General, General Roca engine here is attached to a few cars. Now, I, I did see that car in the front that I know we can go on, but I wonder if we can go on this like any of these cars back here. These old train cars attached to that uh, that engine. Pero Carriles Argentinos. These are super cool. Like these are like 19, I don't even know, but they look kind of like 1940s, 1950s era. Maybe newer kind of wedged in between another car here see if we can get a little more space to film because man yeah these these are so cool the design on them is so cool and like I don't know this uh, this font the way Ferro Carriles Argentinos is written right looks very like 1950s these are great. Looks like they have like a tiny little engine over there for the kids, I think, just to like ride around on. I think we can go up in. Let's see if we can get up in this thing. So, we can go up in this thing. I don't know what it is, what kind of car it is. Looks like. Ooh. It's got a whole like uh, little room back here. And the table, some pictures. What do we got? Cool. Old trains. There's the uh, General Roca, um, that big diesel engine that we just saw. This must have been. I wonder if this is the process of how they restored it. Because I mean, <laughs> it's looking super clean compared to like. Some of the older ones they have here, the, un the unrestored ones, they obviously did some restoration work on it. Pop belly stove. Oh, look at this. There it is. Tren a las nubes. We rode that. We rode that train right across this viaduct, actually. Whole video about that when we were in Salta. Link down in the description. Check that out. It was very, very cool. If you're into trains, you will you'll definitely like that video because man, that's a that was a cool experience riding up there to like I don't know, like 4 above 4000 meters, way way up. And going across that viaduct. That was a pretty amazing structure, that viaduct. Super cool. An experience that I really enjoyed among among many experiences that I enjoyed when I was in Salta. I I enjoyed being in Salta. Looks like a bathroom. 
a sink, and an old wood burning stove. All right, let's head back out. I've realized now that pretty much all the cars and the engines that I've seen say General Roca on them. Oh, look at this. Here comes the little train. Hello. Uh, that's super cool. Little train. Super tiny gauge track. And they run up and down through the yard here. That's cool. That's fun. Everything says General Roca. And I think actually now that is referring to the line because there is a train line running out of Buenos Aires called the Roca Line, named after, I imagine named after Julio Argentino Roca. And I'm guessing these are all trains that ran on the, on the Roca Line in the past. Down in here, this is like an old train, you know, maintenance, right? I guess where they would have to fix the trains because there's a whole pit down here where you could get underneath. And it looks like this is where they're doing doing train maintenance because there's old, old kinds of old like train motor parts, right? That looks like it's, uh, uh, what's it called? Like the uh, like drive shaft or crankshaft of a big, big engine. I think we let's go up in this car let's go up in here and see what we've seen cars like this before at the National Railway Museum oh this is cool <laughs> now this is so cool that they have this preserved it's like the uh, little card to like show when this thing's been disinfected it's like the original one kitchen here. The old bunk. The fan. The bunk bed. Yeah, this looks very familiar. This looks very much like the the old uh, the train that we saw in the National Railway Museum. Oh, here's the bathroom. Looks like a little a little sitting cabin that probably folds into a bed this is like a single that's the luxury cabin the single cabin here's another another single oh it looks like this one has a fold down so I think you see that that top part there it's like a bunk that folds down so you can have two in here mm. This looks like a, I think these are all doubles actually. I think just that the bunk, can you see it? I can't, I can reach the camera and I can't actually go in there. But I think the, the bunks are just not folded down. Yeah, here's one with the bunk folded down. Cool. This is a cool car. This is the, the old golden age of rail travel, right? The luxury, luxury rail travel. Where there was a fire, where there was a like a lounge room with a fireplace. Cool, comfy, comfy armchairs, whatnot. Hola, Lucas. We found him. We found Lucas. Oh, thank you. Bueno, qué tal? Bueno, si estamos acá en Ferro Club Argentino, que es una organización no gubernamental, asociación civil que se dedica a la custodia, preservación y restauración de material ferroviario histórico argentino. Entre otras, entonces nosotros nos dedicamos a cuidar el material ferroviario y en este, en este lugar que es parte, era parte de los talleres de remedio escalada, los talleres Banfield del ferrocarril sur, del Great Southern Railroad de Buenos Aires. Sí. Uh, y entonces cuando hace unos años, unos 20, 30 años, eh, se cedió este sector a los, eh, al Ferroclub Argentino 
y en este sector se restauraba o se reciclaba la estopa que iba en un material que iba en los eh, rodamientos de los vehículos antiguos. Entonces, esto ahora se usa para como nave principal del ferrocarril. ¿sí? Muchas gracias. So this Lucas was just telling me this is the a dynamometric train to test like different parameters of the trains like test uh, velocity and test force and all kinds of different things. Yeah. It's very cool. And it looks like está, está preservado en, sí. adentro. It's preserved inside yeah. with all the furniture. Only. Uh, this has a capacity Four of how many? Passengers. Four? Four. Four, Four passengers. passengers. You see, it's only a technical car. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't carry it, passengers this, or a lot of people. But it has the original uh, kitchen. Oh, the original kitchen in yeah. this one? Mm -hmm. Yes. And they keep you keep the furniture to keep like the weight, right, yeah. and everything yes, constant. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I'm for use because they were they uh, they spend a lot of oh, time. Oh right. Right. Except for the the service man because he had to sleep. In the bed was on the fridge. Oh, <laughs> ice fridge. Yeah, an ice fridge. and on top, he slept. Oh, yeah. the service, the servicemen of the train slept on top. But all the all the sci the scientists, I guess, engineers to, yeah, who tested, they had nice nice rooms and beds. Uh, the poor servicemen, the poor servicemen working hard, having to sleep on top of the fridge. This car, you don't see these things every day. Railroads no. don't need a lot of this. Yeah, no. Uh, this one is custom made for the railroad. Uh, it's made by order in the factories, not a uh, 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 Midland Railway, railway and Carriage Company. British. In uh -huh. Yes. Um, you don't see this enough. And the few that were made in history are other types, other types of car adapted to this use. This one was purpose made for this function. So this car is not normally open to the public, but I was able to come back on a later date and see inside it, and it is very cool. Let's go check it out. Oh, there's a kitchen in here too. Right. It's for Everything testing. here is original. Right. It's factory original. Yeah. The other coach used to have a similar. As you see, it's a coal fire yeah, stove coal fire with stove. a water heater. Oh, wow. Well, let me go in here. Wow. This is a British made coach. Cool. Yeah. From what year again? 1925. There are some photos there with a date. Right. Uh, it has a full bathroom. Yeah. Mm, no top, sorry. Yeah, it's nice um, though. Uh, and it has hot water. Yeah. So this is not being for regular passenger service. Right. Uh, it only has capacity for four people. Right. As you can see, these two cabins are the entirety of the sleeping accommodation. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we didn't haven't told you that the the person who uh, was the servant, let's say, uh, to the the rest of the Perdón, passengers, the camarero, mm -hmm. slept on the fridge right yeah i remember that a, a bed on the fridge <laughs> yeah and uh well poor guy have the, the study let's say of the uh, yeah the meeting room i wow. actually dug up that plan the old phone uh, oh this last week. oh cool <laughs> very cool old phone too crank crank phone yeah, oh wow. <laughs> That's so cool. I'll explain in a minute what, what it's all about. Alright, so this is this is it. This is the This is the equipment. So the, the coach itself is British made. Right. But the equipment is made in in in, in, uh, in Switzerland in, uh, at a company that makes measurement instruments. So what this does it, it, it takes a lot of measurements on, on the power of the engine mm -hmm. uh, to you know like calibrate it. So you know what you have. Right. Um, and then there's two main purposes for it. One is that one, which is the, the most direct one. 
And the other one is when you have a new route, and you, you don't know what kind of engine you need for it, you bring the biggest engine and you bring this car and see how much energy it needs, how oh, much power it okay. needs. And then you, you adjust accordingly. Right, cool, oh, very cool. Many, many so awesome. So this entire device is entirely mechanical. There's nothing electric on it except the lights. Wow. And it, uh, in the beginning, hmm? it's a Swiss mechanism. Yeah. Uh, in the beginning, these kind of uh, measurements were handmade. These kind of calculations were handmade. You had to sit on a desk and do a lot of huh, maths. Wow. And then you have this. It's an entirely mechanical calculator. Yeah. You see, so cool. he has a force, force right. power, work of inertia force, reversing lever, pulling force, buffing force, speed, regulator water. You you had different parameters that were printed like in an electric room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In this paper. Yeah, we told you that. Right. Like yeah, it prints. It, it'll print it out on here. Yeah. Each one. Very cool. This required very, very specific settings on the engine mm -hmm. for running it. So you had to communicate, and cell phones were not a thing at the time. Mm -hmm. So you have those phones we saw, we just saw. Right. Uh, that one has a very long cable. You you run it all the way to the engine <laughs> to talk to the engineer. Yeah. Wow. And they they, they give the instruct instructions to the engineer. Yeah. And uh, okay, go full speed on a different. Instructions in order to to change the, 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 the situation and see the different the reactions to different uh, different situations. This is so cool. How this when uh, this this was a restoration project, no, right? No, no, not at all. Uh, because this thing is such a specific device. Mm -hmm. It spends most of its life most of its like part. Oh right. It sit it sat here probably on this very this same track. Right, yeah. Most of its life. It has a very specific use. It doesn't go out on, on every train. Right. So it's just it's, one. So no no wear and tear. It's just Imagine very that for as a specific as there are no many there right. are only two in the world because most of the railroads what used to modify other coaches right so they were a regular coach when it was out of service they converted it mm -hmm. into a dynamometer mm -hmm. car. but this is but specifically built as, built as, yeah yeah originally built originally as, built wow originally built. Uh, even when doing that they don't need this that much right they only did one right they yeah they use it so little so there are very few of these in the world. And I think they, yeah. they, they gave it to I, I didn't even notice, like, the everything is so clean and such high, you know what I mean? Like, even the other coaches that we've been in that have been restored, they still look a little old and kind of like a little, there's a wear and tear, you know? But this is like, I mean, look at how. It spends most of its life sitting here. Yeah, like everything is still so like clean yeah. and new looking. Yeah, new looking. You don't see this every day. Yeah, no. Oh, wow. This is a little hack. Yo, it's moving. You can like smell the, the grease. So we can turn this on a lot. Yeah. Because it requires lubrication and maintenance that no none of us know what how to do. Right. <laughs> okay. So we just show it off a, a little bit okay. like that. You and can then turn, turn it off now, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. We're going upstairs. There is a upstairs to the workshop here. A library. And a small museum. And a little museum up here. Okay, cool. So we're going up. And we have another friend, Kwani. <laughs> oh, yeah, here, cool. Cool. This one is from. It's the model of the Steve is on valve gear. You can see the side guards. This is the valve here, and this is the, the coupling attached to the wheel. Cool, As yeah. See. The model of the steam engine wheel and gear, ball gear. 
this valve here is the, the, old, the first one that was created by George Stephenson. Oh, okay. Cool. This is a model of one of the, the Southern Railroads. Buenos Aires Great Southern Railway. Yeah. Uh, Sweet Acres Railway. Yeah. 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 This is a scale replica of the 8E. Of, the, uh, of an A. Of a, sorry. 8E class. How much your passenger still locomotive? And this one is a is the number number three 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 as you can see. It's a fake number, let's say. See. Uh, <laughs> and the, 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 the person who made it was a an employee for the Southern Bay. Oh. <laughs> The original class, the original uh, locomotive. We, in, in fact, we have a one that is that is came to preservation, but is covered with a. Is that enough? <laughs> Out of here, and um, what else? The, it works. It works. In fact, it works. The model. Yeah, the model oh. is made to, to work. A working next model. Team, next team locomotive. Wow. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Uh, oh, oh, wow. Wow. Oh, cool. <laughs> see, see, man. it's cool. The blocks staff system for block. For security system oh. for the signals. And okay. The signal man, they are one of the engineer. This one. And he goes it as a token for the block. Oh, okay. For the block of track. He, give, he, he turns it in at the next station. Oh, okay. And he gets another one. And oh, okay. That was stuff. Okay, that see. That means system. at the next station, they grab this uh, token. The to clear the segment. Oh, okay, entiendo. So the next train can come. Cool. Oh, yeah. This is number 4116. One of the first locomotives, first steam locomotives that the, this museum has preserved until 20, 2012. Mm -hmm. Now it's in Technopolis. Unfortunately, it's not working all the time. Oh, no. This, this Baldwin, though, is very... Well, the, that, uh, the series uh, were being completed for the Seneca Roca Railway at the beginning of the 1950s. Use Argentina's most famous locomotive. Number, number, number one, as you can see. 181. 181. Oh. Engine that was mm -hmm. built by engineer Francis, Francisco Sabio from this locomotive uh, is broke a record, broke our broke a speed, speed record. record for South American oh. steam locomotives. Wow! In 1927, when the Plus Ultra, there was a, a famous flight from Spain mm -hmm. to Argentina, mm -hmm. it was such a raid that it was very famous so one of one, buenos aires uh, newspapers uh, rented a special train to send the the, the last news. the news oh. faster as, fa as faster as possible okay so they took this locomotive which was the the locomotive of the Central yes. Argentine Railroad mm -hmm. and Maquinista Sabio, who was its engineer, and it was a kind of no, two, cool. three hours, three hours, three hours, three hours, fifteen minutes. From and there are about Buenos three, three hundred kilometers. Hmm? Buenos Aires to Rosario in three hours, fifteen minutes. Ooh. That time. That's, time. That's fast. 1926. That's fast. I took a bus. It took me four and a half hours. Yeah. Tickets. Oh, cool. Edmondson type tickets here. Old, old tickets, IDs. 
cool. The library here. Our timetable. Yeah, oh wow. This one from the Ferrocarril Cent uh, Midland Central, uh, Cent sí. Ferrocarril Central Buenos Aires, mm -hmm. sería de Urquiza. Eh, Urquiza. Yeah. Central Buenos Aires Railway. Sí. Urquiza. And these photos are for the minimum gauge rail uh, railway uh, the club has the rail museum has built. In this, in this third working order, we have three locomotives in working order. This one is the only powered by steam, Doña Teresita. It is now storage in, uh, in the workshops. Mm -hmm. um, this one is the cream, is the Christian that's working, holding the trains now. Mm -hmm. For this one, it was black, paint firmly, and now it's crimson. It's very cool. And this, another Baldwin, Baldwin that's attached. Yeah, Baldwin. This one's a little... Shark yeah, the shark nose. This one's a little... Not as clean as the other one. The other one was so clean and beautiful. It is said that this version is a mix between the baby face and uh -huh. the shark nose. Shark okay. Nose. Cool. So, the Baldwin, the super, super sexy, beautiful Baldwin uh, engine that we saw, the super clean engine here, we are getting a chance to go up inside it. Thanks to our friend uh, Herman, Herman here, and also our new friend Pablo, who we just met, who is apparently the king, the king of the Baldwin, and we, we need his permission to get up inside. Wow. It's as clean inside as it is outside. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, this is the locomotive brake with compressor. This is the vacuum for the train. Uh, accelerator and inversor. Uh, reverser. The reverser, the reverser. Y todo funciona, sí. Yes, yes. It's all. It all works. It's working. Now we are to the, running to walk to the machine. Okay. Uh, here the the electric. Oh electric wow. Cabinet. Hold on, let me let me sneak back here. Wow. The electric cabinet. Also fully restored, fully functional. Yes. And clean, super clean. And clean because um, we put out uh, all the all the elements and painted, restored, and put in. So they oil. they took out, they pulled out all the electrical elements, restored them, cleaned them, painted them, and put them back in, put it back together. Oh, yeah, amazing. Two. Yeah. The reverser. So this is the reverser? Yes. Uh, this is the volt regulator. Whoa. Oh my gosh. It's a motor. This is the, the power contactors um, for the electric motors. And the compressor. Okay. This is the comp compressor and vacuum. Vacuum head. Turbo. Oof, look at that. It's huge. Huge turbo. 
huge engine. How cuántos uh, cilind uh, cylinders? Cylinders. Cylinders. Yeah. Eight. Eight. eight cylinders. Eight in line. Okay, eight cylinder in line. Mm -hmm. Pumps of the fuel is uh, Bosch. Uh, pump. <coughs> pumps. Pumps. Yeah, fuel pump. pumps. Me digas bomb porque explota. Claro. Sí, las bombas. Las bombas de. No. This is the sand, the sand deposit for the rubbers. Ah, no, está bien. It is hot in here. It is very hot. But that's because look at the size of this engine. And look at the size of the space that we're in. This is the, um, the blower. Sleep by here. It's a very tight squeeze for someone my height. Ah, we made it. We're in the back. This is the oil filter. We have eight. Eight oil filters. He, esos. This is the compressed tank. Oh, the compressed, compressed uh, air. air uh, tank. Compressed and air this tanks. Is this is bubble. Cool. And this is the water tank. Water tank above. Wow. This is an additional. Uh, this is not the original of the locomotive. Mm -hmm. um, this is an additional vacuum pump. Uh, additional pump. additional vacuum pump, not original. <coughs> Slide back through here. Keeping it clean. This thing is so cool. This is the excitatrice for the main generator. Oh, okay. And the, the generator here. Yes. And the auxiliary generator too. This oh, is okay. two in one. Two generators, auxiliary generator and the main generator. And this is See those pedals. Pedals is uh, this is a dead man and sand, sand for front and reverse. Oh. Uh, this is a horn, horn, and speedometer. Cool. This is so cool. This is so cool. Yeah, look at the look at the view out the front. So just imagine, just imagine yourself, right, driving this thing down the tracks mm -hmm. with that view. It's so cool. And this is the from the 1950s, right? 1953. 1953. 1953 is classic. Amazing. Amazing. Muchas gracias, Pablo. No. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Thank you. So the car the car we walked past in the front is a functioning restaurant car. Where they have a functioning kitchen in the back and you can come and get a table and sit and eat in the rail car. How cool is that? It's a cafeteria, a coffee shop. It's so cool. It's pretty cool. Well, I think that's gonna be it for the video. We saw a lot of cool stuff here. It's actually starting to get dark here right now, and I've actually just been hanging out with uh, Herman and Lucas. They've been uh, chilling, we've been meeting new people and just sort of hanging out here and ch chatting. It's been very nice. I want to say thank you very much to Lucas, Herman, Wani, and our, our friend Claudio, who we met but didn't actually get into the video. But it was very nice meeting all of you. I'm very glad to have met you, and thank you very much for showing me around uh, everything here at the Federal Club. Also, a big thank you to Pablo, the king of the Baldwin shark nose, for showing us around inside. That was a really amazing experience. Thank you very much. And uh, I wanted to film this outro before it got dark, but I think we saw a lot of really cool stuff here. I'm super glad that we came here um, to see this. Like, I wouldn't have known about it if, um, if Lucas hadn't put a comment on my other video. So, very happy that we saw this. Very cool that we saw 
the actual like inside of that uh, that train, the, the the engine. We saw the motor. It was so cool, so cool. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be more videos coming from here in Buenos Aires, and we'll see you in the next one.